So this is kind of a sad day and I figured I better give some posterity to this house before they tear it down. This is a 1937 bungalow that is pre-housing uh, boom post-World War II. Uh, this has been here since both my mom and I have lived here. This is my mother's neighbor's house. And uh, when we first got here, there's a sweet old couple, Irene and Frank Oglesby, who had lived here for a number of years. Uh, Frank passed away and then Irene owned it until she died. Uh, her son and daughter-in-law sold it to a uh, house flipper. The house flipper had um, immigrants, oddly enough, living in it, but they would maintain the house and we'd see a woman who was quite pregnant coming out to mow the lawn. Uh, following that, uh, it sold to um, Jen Wright and her husband, Bill. They lived here for probably 10 or 11 years, but then decided to move to Michigan for his mother. And I'm mad because she was the president of the Homeowners Association. They sold this house for half a million dollars and took off. The woman who bought it um, never moved in, held it for about eight months, then sold this property for 615,000. The land sat vacant because as you can see, they have not maintained anything. I've had to fight the weeds out of mom's lawn. And uh, today they've shown up uh, with the bulldozer. So I just wanted to give a little posterity uh, to this house. I've known it since 1992 and I'm very sad to see it go because they're going to build a cookie cutter McMansion here. Uh, all in the name of progress. Um, this house is very well loved. And I will tell you that initially that porch area was actually a screened in room that Irene and her husband had put together uh, because of her antique glass collection. So I guess I'm saying goodbye. This sucks. I really hate St. Pete and I hate these people who do this crap. The city council should have stopped it. Count fencing or something like that. Okay, but. I think so. Please tell me they're not going to take this down. I don't think they will. They're going to be cheap about it, Mom. They don't have to build that. <laughs> Nineteen thirty-seven. There it goes. I'm seeing it. They're getting close to your trees. Well, thanks a lot. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Yep. They did. After all that and how much they love the neighborhood. No, no, the house. Your trees are all right. They're, they're pretty well aware, away from it. There's not even any much debris. Yeah, I'm sure they're used to this anyway. Oh, well, here we go.
There goes the porch. I think we built that. That's something that Jen and Bill put in, I think. There was no reason for them to tear down that house. No reason. Oh, they're going to put in a McMansion, Mom. Yeah. All right, I'm going to record the palm trees. No, the debris is getting close, but but your trees are okay. I do too. got home from work and this is the end result I will tell you those people were real jerks because I was coming up the road and they basically forced me to pull off uh, with their big truck nearly running me down which was so sweet but that's it it's gone and I uh, I I don't know it's interesting because I've had to explain why this is such a big deal. So what we're seeing is an influx of foreign and non-Floridian money, people coming in from the north, buying up these properties for cash. They don't have any investment in the history. They haven't lived here for very long. Um, and it, they don't care, I guess, about the history. You think they would, but they don't. So because of this process what we're seeing all over and this has been going on for at least 10 years if not longer um, are these older houses that are being torn down so that cookie cutter mcmansions can be put in the reason this is bad st petersburg was designed to be a green city from the beginning so understand that florida becomes a state uh, in the early 1800s st petersburg is really populated um, and founded um, around basically 1888. Um, so this neighborhood goes back to 1925. So remember, we're a little bit younger than some areas, but this is still pretty old for this area. Um, St. Pete actually platted lands in its foundation. It, it platted for Williams Park to be a park, a reserved green space. The area that developed here in 1925, they platted, they put out, they sold property cheap to the city to turn it into basically Crescent Lake Park because they felt that a green outdoor space was very important. And the houses here are actually built so that the green space helps to absorb the extra water and take it back to the Florida aquifer, essentially. Uh, it helps to control water and it actually uh, helps maintain the attitude that we have here of this kind of natural area. These cookie cutter mansions, McMansions, basically are built across the entire lot. So they are going to reduce the footprint of the green space entirely. They will push out and nearly touch the houses next door to each other. So I feel bad for mom. Uh, the houses are close. They're going to be closer. They also charge exorbitant rates uh, for these cookie cutter houses, which seem to just roll over and sell and sell and sell for more and more money. So... We had a 1937 house that was perfectly sound. It was in excellent condition. There was nothing wrong with it. And um, I guess it had a history, it had a personality, and it was torn down out of greed. Um, I just don't have any other words for it. Uh, there was nothing wrong with that house, except they want something bigger and newer and uglier. I'm sorry to say these McMansions are ugly. I can show you others in this neighborhood. What I have noticed is that people who care about the history are apparently a minority. I've also noticed many people saying that they feel completely helpless because no one is stopping this. It is all over Florida and it's depressing. Uh, our city councils are not listening to us. 
mean, why should we matter? Uh, I guess I've been here since 92 and I guess my voice doesn't matter. Um, and I actually found myself, my makeup's a little askew, but tearing up and actually shedding tears over this house because it was such an injustice. It was such a poor way for this house to go out. It was without honor. It was out without circumstance. It was without reason. It was just torn down in a matter of half an hour. And then they spent the rest of the day clearing it out for greed. And um, that hurts. It hurts. So that's where we 